and done in sand lime mortar. <laughs> Hopefully before three. Ten past two. Oh, excellent. Ten past two, one course to go. So, what I do is I, I cut it back a couple of mil from the front, just so it's a nice tidy edge. No lintel. So what's the freaking point of doing that? Good morning, 25th of May, 2024. And if you're uh, if you're upset by the uh, by the date and the time of uploading, get over yourself. So today I've been dreading this job for months, and it's here. So, but it need, it definitely needs doing. So I'll give you a little look. See now, that is the state they've been left in. And that's not even the worst one. Today we're on this one. So we can get this one out of the way and we can be done with the scaffold. Not much better either. Just have a little lead thrown in. Those bricks are coming down. So yeah, it's, uh, it is in dire need of our assistance. And as you can tell by where I am, I'm on top of a, uh, a converted garage roof some extra planks because we wanted to spread the weight out, weight out a little bit. Um, just looking at the acro, the strong boys. I thought we're going to strong boys. Dad, how many strong boys are in there? Pardon? How many strong boys are in the van? Uh, three. Good. <sighs> yeah, there is. Uh, I can't see them. Anyway. So yeah, our usual little song and dance, and um, let's just hope we get it done nice and uh, handy. I shouldn't have said that, knock on wood. But yeah, um, I will get you on time lapse while we get set up and Dad can get up there and get started while I go up and down this ladder getting the right stuff. So we will catch you after time lapse. Mike's working and it's got the wind muffler on so there you go that's what's been done here they took the trouble to take the brickwork out shoved this lead in underneath the tray so it's got a nice lap under it which is great bloody bloody blah, blah but not bother putting a lintel in what, what's, what's the point of that I just don't get it so Alex has just gone down to close the van up and he's going to put me a hole in the brickwork there and one about here. 700, 700, 700. So we're going to get, put two acros in this and uh, get all this crap out. Take three courses out because our upstand is quite tall on this because it's a 2.4. So our upstand's probably up to here. So that gives us a chance to get the, the tray nailed in. So the brickwork up there, internal brickwork at that. Concrete bricks as well, but that looks quite flat. That so we'll be able to nail it onto this, and then um, usual script. I know these videos can get a bit boring. But they're all they all seem like they're the same, but every job's different. As you see, this one's got the lead in it. For I think there's been a few jobs done like that. So the same builders probably done a few on here, and we're following around fixing them all. Oh yeah, so out to here to allow for our upstand so those out like that out one brick past here same again up round to there then we can get the tray up there and then put it back and we're way behind today probably get after half nine now the last couple of jobs we've almost had this out for ten o'clock but it's um we're up on the roof and it's a lot more awkward setting the scaffold up we've had to pick up the um, the small acros because the you can see that tip that boxes in the way whatever that is 
must be something to do with boxing the drains in. And um, we've had to swap one of the lintels because I got a 2.1 for this and the opening is 2.1. So obviously you do need a seating for a lintel. So we picked up the 2.4. So we're all set. So we're going to be back here bank holiday Monday depending on the weather. I think the weather's okay. Crap tomorrow. Good, good Monday. And then we've got a porch job to organise for next week. But uh, still work, plenty of work coming in. Just saw Neil, who bought the van off. Um, he's, he's asked about a garage. And he, there's another little job we're pricing for him. So here. Yeah. That's crap. Have you locked up, Al? Hey. Have you locked up? No, I don't have the keys. Oh. So while you're down there, you might as well do both. Yeah. Whereabouts? Yeah. Halfway in the middle of this window. Anywhere here. This corner. Probably, the, the, probably the top one. Then we can put it right way up then, can't we? Perfect. Well, that went well. Next one. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Alex. That's, uh, that's the two um, strong boys in for our mini acros. We could put one in now and then um, put one in now and then I'll start taking the rest of this out. It was quite soft that so I think this has been repointed with sand and cement again so it looks harder than it is. Yeah and there was when we when I took this out there's a half in this window. A three quarter and then a half. So right, just give that a sec I'll put the camera out of the way. Well, our, our nice run of straightforward lintels have come to an abrupt end. This house, like all the others on this estate, was built with sand lime mortar. And then, obviously, there's prob been problems with it, so some clowns come along to fix it. Took the brickwork out three courses, put this lead under the tray to put a new tray in, and um, not bother putting the lintel in. No lintel. So what's the freaking point of doing that? Why would you not just put a lintel while you're at it? So, and 
the thing that's that's well that's just normal stuff that's everyday stuff for us the thing that's screwing us up is they've rebuilt it back in four, three to one there you go just do that one out show them this is the um this is the sand lime normal bricks that we do Even that's harder than normal, isn't it? You just rub them together and give them a bang. But that's how they're supposed to clean up. We've got probably half of them built with this shite, which won't come off. It's, it's very, very sticky and very, very hard. So we've got a little grind up. We're just going to have to grind them down. We don't have any spare bricks. We have a few in the garage, but these are, we didn't think we'd need them on this one. But um, Well, we haven't broke any, but there's uh, three, three quarters and a half come out of here. So that's going to be a fun pattern to put back in. So yeah, I'm going to drag this out before break and then I'm going to let Alex clean the bricks because there's no way he can clean all them on his own. I'm going to get the grinder going after break, try and get something with that, speed things up a bit. But there you go. There's that funny little pillar. And around the front, the pillar's only half a brick. So we can only put our lintel on 50 mil each side. The difference with that is it's just four coarse of brick holding nothing above, whereas this is a wall, obviously. So we're here. I'm going to whip this out and bring the hoover back up with us after break and um, Alex's ear defenders so we can use the grinder. Yeah, today sucks, but we're just going to keep going. I don't remember setting that clock out, that's right. No, 20 to 11. Unfortunately, it's 20 to 11. So we're right behind on this one. We do need uh, electric from somewhere. We might have to knock next door. It's one of our old customers next door. Neil's son. We've done uh, lintels and brickwork and internal work for him. Also dug all those fence posts and put all those fences in. <coughs> so yeah, it's out, it's out. Ready for them to go in. So we're not that far behind, it's just the brick, take, clean the bricks, it's going to take all the time. It's about 38 bricks. And then we're going to put a bit of lime in ours. 38 bricks is about just under a third of a mix, so we'll have to work that out. But we're going to have to get electric from somewhere, like I say. So we're going to go and have a break now, get this camera on charge and see after, see when we get back. Well, Alex has had his, dinner, his break and his dinner, so he's, um, he, that's his, he's working through now, he said, so. It's a student let, so we've just walked into the front door because the door was open. So I don't know if they've left it open for us on purpose or they just haven't bothered locking it after them. But we've plugged it, we've got our water, so that's, that's, that's a big plus for us. As you can see, there's the concrete lintels. We're going in above them because of our upstand on our lintel, so we're going to go along here, seal it back as normal. Everything's up here. Got my little grinder. Should have a battery somewhere. Big 12 amp hour battery. But no, I'll swap it actually. But we've got a forged battery in the radio, which is a 6 amp hour. Same power, smaller size. So yeah, I need to get this lot cleaned up while this gets the mix on. And then once that's done, we can get this tray on. Get the insulation in and get the lint on.
a shock in the middle anyway. Oh, you need to start to go pee. Tell you what, put the insulation in now, then we'll do the control. Put it in now, then we'll do the control. There we go, we're in. We've got to uh, just adjust the um, the seating at each end. Have you got the. Three quarters. Yeah, so. I'm obviously bed it because it's rocking a bit. Um, yeah, that's it. We're going to pack it over each window, and then this is taking this pillar's taking a lot of the sag out of it too. So we're going to slot the insulation down here now, our 170 mil slices. Then we're going to nail the, the tray up into that bed, and then uh, we're away. Really want to walk. Add an hour to this because we haven't set the clock. Uh, ten past one. So um, yeah, this took all the time. You, you probably saw on the video the time that's cleaning these off. Absolute bugger. Looking on snapped because they've been battered these bricks. But um, some of the really bad ones we can turn around. They've got the original face on the back. There's the unweathered face. It was quite nice, smooth. So yeah, I've got my water. Let's just get the insulation, and then it's a um, crack on. Microphone attached. There you go. You can see there the tray nailed in, nice and flat against the back skin. Nice fall on it. Insulation behind there. You see it there tucked in there. There's our upstand, which goes past our lintel. Like that. This is tucked right in with the bricks. So what I do is I, I cut it back a couple of mil from the front, just so it's a nice tidy edge. Once I get cracking, my lines up ready to go. I just needs going to the other end. There you go, that just needs cutting off and we can get flying. And then we'll get a probably a, a 70 mil piece of insulation cut in there and fill that gap up. So we are probably at half one now. Clock. 
half past one exactly. So let's get it on, as Clive Holland says. What time are we now? Hmm? What time are we on? Hopefully before three. Ten past two. Oh, excellent. Ten past two, one course to go. You closed a bit of time back there, nice job. Yeah, those two went in quite quick. It's like um, Brook Bond. As I said, there's a half in that bottom course, so I've run the half out to this end, put the two three quarters over, because there's four three quarters, so the, those two have got to go in somewhere as well. Definitely one there, but we'll see. Yeah, well, you see the bottom, this is half bond, and then it's it's, it's lost. It's, it's all over the shot, and then th that's lost. That's lost. We got so much stick for not doing the bottom, keeping, keeping it half bond, even though the, the whole house wasn't half bond. Yeah, let's get this line down and get these last few brick in.
quick. Al? Hi, Josh. Yeah. yeah, not bad. Done it. This is hopefully this is the harder one of the two. Hopefully, hey. Don't even know if anyone's in. The door's just open. It's mad. Do, 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 the keys in the door as well. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. How many of them in here? No? I'm nearly here, they're more seasons to be honest, Steve. Right? Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> See ya. I don't think so. Um, what mind a coffee, please? Coffee. Yes, please. Yes, please. Milk, no sugar. No sugar. Yeah. He's just, he's just a glass of water. Thank you very much. So we're getting a complaint then. When you're done, though. Yeah. You pass me all the scaffold stuff and I'll bring it down, and then we'll swap places then. Okay. Do you want to just get all the tools that I'm not using now?
Uh, thanks for doing the pointy. That's alright. But uh, when I got up here, I noticed she left the trowel and the joint on the floor. Oh. So I had to get back down again. Oh, I like what you've done here. Yeah. Get them all in one spot so the rest of it looks nice. Yeah. The bomb's all over the place, but when you stand back, it looks okay. Well, if you look as well, this part looks right. Yeah. And that part looks right. Yeah, that's true. So you, you, you have to hyper focus on the in between for it to look wrong. Yeah. It's weird. It's wrong it, in one spot, but right in two. It's the usual turd polishing, isn't it? As it always is with lintels. Very rare you get to uh, get a piece out of it. What did she say? She's making me a drink. Oh. You're getting a glass of water? Getting so did I. That's why I didn't answer the first couple of times. Oh. <laughs> oh no, she's gonna have a go at the dust. Never say no to brew, especially on a hot sunny day. We're done. Quick sponge and Drop everything. Oh shit. Five to four. Brilliant. If we pull our fingers out, we can maybe get away for our four. Well, the worst part's coming up now, it's just getting this skiff put away. And tidying up. Probably won't be as bad because it's on a roof. The storm can wash away the rest of it. True. <coughs> Watch your eyes. Oh, where's the sponge? <laughs> Did you find sponge? No. Oh, I need the sponge, please. No, it's got to be uh, soft. It cut, should, should stay in that bucket. Sponge, there was no sponge. Al? Yeah, me, yeah, walk around Al. Next door to Josh's. My son will come and get it. Thank you. There's no sponge up here, Dad. No. Right. There's a little close-up for you. This is a uh, pre pre uh, outro I'll do over to Alex for that but uh, yeah we're done four o'clock that was including me having a late dinner there's a little cluster of pieces all tidied up at one end so yeah and done in sand lime mortar There you go. Jobs are good and everything's lined up nice. We've done it with one lintel, so that saved the customer a lot because normally that'd be one lintel per day. So we've done one lintel but over two windows, so that saved them a lot. And, um, and it's all done. So we're going to drop the scaff, tidy up, and we'll be back, hopefully, Bank Holiday Monday to get the front done. So let's get tidied up. Right, so I am actually here. Just finished doing the outro for these lentils. And we've yet to do one for this one. Oh, I bet that must have looked fun. There we go. So this was two awful lentils and a crappy lead tray. Turned into one nice lentil. Some proper brickwork on it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Again, <laughs> for me this is a second outro in two minutes. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when we upload. Massive help, and we appreciate that. Any additional support, which isn't necessary by any means, there is the super thanks in the video under the video, or this dad's PayPal, which it's not necessary by any means. It's just an extra way of supporting the channel, which goes a really long way and is greatly appreciated. But thank you everybody for watching. This has been Brick Clean with Steve and Alex with a two for one lintel. <laughs>
and we'll see you in the next one.